What's up everyone? I'm Toby and this is Silver Fox Disc Golf coming at you live from La Quinta, California, which is right by Palm Springs and we're right in the middle of Tropical Storm Hillary. Take a look. We dropped our son off at San Diego State this week. A little bit emotional, as you might expect, but he's super excited and we're really excited for him. And I'm gonna do a little review ahead of the video today instead of afterwards, because I'm gonna switch some things up a little bit. And I am missing one of the discs that I'm gonna review today, but it's for good reason. So I'm reviewing three discs in the video and I wanna tell you a little bit about them now and then we'll go to the video and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about a content series that I'm gonna start as well. The first disc I reviewed was the Jackalope. Now I said in the video this is a seven speed and I was wrong. It's actually an eight speed. It's an eight, five, negative two, one, and it flies amazing. I love this disc. I've used it a few times since I filmed the video and it's definitely gonna go in my bag. I don't have an eight speed and I'm not gonna say I notice a big difference versus my seven speeds, but I'm short a seven speed now. So I'm gonna put this in the bag and I'm looking forward to using it. Disc number two for the three disc challenge was the Mint Disc Lobster. This is one of the most beautiful discs I have ever owned. Why don't I have the lobster? Well, I'll tell you a little story. So the day before we moved my son in, we had a free day and I took him to Morley Field to play around a disc golf together. I picked up this little marker that I'm gonna send to him in his first care package. And I picked one up for myself so I can remember the day because it was amazing. We had a great time playing there. And at the end of the round, he said, you know what, dad? I'm probably gonna try to play a bit while I'm down here and I might even see if my roommates are interested. So what does any dad do when his son says that? Well, I could have bought him some discs, but I thought, you know what? I'm gonna give away three of my favorite discs that he's been using to start his own bag and have some discs to play with while he's in San Diego. So you can see, I gave him the river, I gave him the lobster, and he's loved that P2. And you know, since it's not beaded, I was happy to give that to him so it can get some use. I really hope he plays while he's in San Diego. There's some great courses down there. And I'm looking forward to coming back down and playing some more courses as well. But I gotta tell you, I love the lobster. And it's definitely going back in my bag. I'm probably gonna have to order another one, but I love the way that disc flew. It flies tremendously straight. I would imagine if I had a little more flick in my wrist and a little more arm strength, it would be really flippy. But for me, it just flew straight and I love that. So I'm definitely keeping it in my bag or putting it back in my bag, probably buy a new one. And I really enjoyed it. And I know Keenan's gonna enjoy it too. And last, I put it with the bullet. I love it. It's a great disc. It's got just the smallest little bead on it. They call it a micro bead in their description. It's almost non-existent, but I can tell it's there. I will say I prefer a little more bead like I have on the Nomad or the Westside Crown, but this is a great disc. I threw some great approach shots with it, like the shot on eight. I was putting really well. Yeah, I missed a couple, but it was a good disc and I imagine I'll keep it for practice, but I'm probably not gonna put it in my bag, mainly because I want a grippier plastic. So how was my round? Well, I was four over. That wasn't horrible. If you watch the round, you'll see I missed an easy putt on three. I got a bogey on six. I landed on the path on seven, so I had to take a stroke there because I was OB. And on eight, I missed what should have been an easier putt. I could easily say I should have been even on that. Clearly I wasn't, but it wasn't the disc's fault. So I like the mid discs. I'm looking forward to playing them more. The jackalope and the lobster will definitely go in my bag. So the last thing I'll say is, I'm gonna switch up the content a little bit. I'm gonna start doing the videos a little bit differently. I've been thinking about the, the length of the content and thinking that maybe 10, 12, 15, 20 minutes is a little bit too long to really just get a little bit of insight about some discs and to see how a 50 year old beginner is doing here four months into his journey. So I'm gonna launch a new series, tentatively titled, three new discs, three bold thoughts, and three great shots. And what I'll do is do a summary of my round. I'll share with you some insights about the discs. I'll tell them if they're gonna make the bag or not, and whether I'd recommend them for a beginner. So would I recommend these discs for a beginner? Two of the three, absolutely. 
I would definitely recommend the Jackalope. I think an eight speed is on the high end of speed for me. I probably am not gonna ever go over a nine or a 10. So an eight speed is right up there and I think I can get some good shots out of it. And no doubt, absolutely recommend the Lobster. Straight flying, a great disc if you need some distance, but some straight tight shots. I love it. I'm excited for Keenan to use it. I hope he'll have some fun with it and I'll be getting another one soon. So let's check out the round. Check out the video. Hmm. So let's check out the round. You'll hear my thoughts as we're playing. You'll see how I played and you'll understand. Blah, 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 blah. It doesn't even make any sense. So let's check out the round. Hope you enjoyed the content. As always, please like and subscribe. And if you don't, I don't care. Thank you. What's up everyone? I'm Toby and this is Silver Fox Disc Golf coming at you. Another box. Must be a three disc challenge day. It absolutely is. So I picked this box up 4th of July. I think today is August 11th. So I've had it in my possession for more than a month. And it's a box of brand new mint discs. I'm super excited. I can't even remember colors and I'm not even 100% sure what I ordered. So I'm excited to open it up. And I just wanted to say thank you to Mint Discs. I got an email on 4th of July for 20% off. Everything in the store. Didn't even need a code. So I bought some new discs. So hey, manufacturers, if you're listening, I love a good discount. 20% is the number. You throw that on there, I'm golden. Let's check these out. All right, so what do we got here? And piece of paper. I will pick it up. Right on top, we've got a brand new bullet control putter. Fantastic. Look at this beauty. Fantastic. Look at that. Beautiful plastic. Slight, hmm. Maybe you call that a bead? Do you call that a bead? There's a little something there. I got a little bit of a place for my finger. It's going to look good. I can't wait to throw that. Next up, we have a brand new. Why am I saying brand new? All, all these are brand new. I'm just opening the box. Next up, we've got a Jackalope. Super excited for this control driver. I'll have to look up the numbers on this. Uh, I don't know, 173 grams. I'll put the numbers right here. I know it's a seven speed. That's normally what I get. Uh, I think it's a little understable. It's maybe a negative two one. Okay, this is beautiful. Five speed lobster. Wow, this is an absolutely gorgeous disc. I know this is a five speed. Again, I'll put the numbers up here. What an amazing disc, 176 grams, the back of that. Wow, it's just gorgeous. Okay, I love this and I hope it throws well. Let's go check them out. They also sent a sticker. Thank you manufacturers for putting stickers in your boxes. I put them on the back of my computer. Let me show you. Stickers. A one, 291 feet, jackalope. Lobster. Great. Nice. Not a bad disc. Hole two, 216 feet. Been playing my berry here. It's a five, five, negative one, one. Plays pretty well. I wish I knew the numbers on this lobster here. Uh, we're gonna give it a toss, but uh, it should be the right disc. Looking forward to throwing this. Uh, and it is, seriously, this is a gorgeous disc. Straight as an arrow. Uh, even a, maybe a little slight bit of turn. Uh, I would say understable so far. Not really a bad position. Uh, I'd say just past the basket from a uh, length perspective. So if I go dead at it, it's probably a really great shot. Uh, it's playing as if my berry had a little fade. Let's see if we can get the birdie. Oh.
Hole three, 258 feet. Let's give the jackalope a whirl. I threw this in the parking lot just a minute ago. <laughs> Man, that would have been a great shot. Pretty good kick from uh, the side of the tree there, fortunately. So I've got a look. Bullet. Four, 312 feet. Great spot for the lobster. If it flies like it did on two, I should be sitting pretty. Good. It's a great location. No comment about the potential makeability of this putt. Ooh. Hole five, 297 feet uh, behind the tree here. From what I'm seeing so far, I think this lobster is the exact right disc. I'm excited to throw it. Six, Nemesis, Lobster. That is quite possibly one of my best throws on this hole. That felt really good. Shout out to Zach. He always told me it's a good throw, but it hits a tree. Center in the good throw. Thanks, Zach. I still love the game. I'll take the four there. You guys know that holds my nemesis. Probably could have gotten a better second shot and maybe had a chance at par. Didn't happen. It's on there as a bogey. <clears throat> hole seven 309 feet uh, out that away behind a tree kind of that you can't see it's a tough position right now I'm gonna just throw the lobster kind of down the middle i hope Right on the path, which means OB. Take it the drop. Let's get close. Close. I'm pretty bummed. I either turned the video off or my finger didn't click it. Missed my drive on eight. Took out really well with the jackalope here. Right in the middle with a look. Probably as good a throw as I've thrown here. So I'm gonna try to get this bullet right up there by the basket. Hit it. Ooh. Very close. A little scary. Downhill. I think you got this. Hole nine, 243 feet. This lobster's feeling like the right choice. He's kind of straight up the gut there. Oh, 
have a little shot through here and see what happens. All right, that's nine holes. Let's see how that ends up. I'm gonna play the back nine. Just take a little bit of video here and there. I'll probably add it in. So far, I gotta say I like. Need to throw them a bit more.